Hey guys, it's me again, Don Kiker. Uh, I'm going to deviate from something that I usually do because I do thrift a lot. And if you haven't noticed, I make a lot of videos. I have, I think, over 3,500 videos on now. <clears throat> I have seen a change, I would say, in the last six months with thrifting. eBay sales are flat. Uh, also, out of the booth, those sales have been really flat. It has just been really, really slow out there. Now I'm seeing the, um, uh, the, the Goodwills and the thrift stores have been lowering their prices and train, changing their strategy. So what's, what that's telling me is right now, if you look on eBay, specifically eBay, because you can just go on there and then when you're going in and looking, you can see, the, see what's going on. Just check, check for, the sold, for the sold items. Don't look at the, the current. The current stuff is current. That's what asking price ain't getting price. Look at, go and look at the sold stuff, and you will see that stuff is just not selling like it used to. So people have been really holding on to their money. Uh, I, have, I have in my closet over here, and also outside, I have so many things boxed up and ready to just ship out and sell, but... It has just been really slow, and uh, I know this time of the year it's typically slow, but going in, we're getting ready to go into October now, and I am very hopeful that it starts to get a bit busier with the holiday season coming up, but here typically, typically October it does go up, but here in Florida, Florida has, has been so expensive, and it's just like everything is just really expensive, but at least the gas has been coming down a little bit. I, I, you know, it was, I think, two weeks ago, gas was, I think, three, 340. And today, I think it was down to two, 297 or 295 it was. So that's a little, uh, you know, it's alleviating some of the pressure. But it has just been really tough out there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, specifically over at my Goodwill that I, I, I thrift over at the Cortez Goodwill here in Bradenton every day, sometimes twice a day, and I have just noticed there's just the shelves aren't going because I have a mental uh, acuity as far as I can scan the room, and I, since I go there every day, I have a really good idea of what, their, what inventory is selling and what isn't. And i got to tell you guys, it's just stacks and stacks and stacks of the same junk and they keep putting more and more broken stuff out, and they're 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 changing their strategy as far as the color coded uh, prices off. Now they have a 50 percent off. They got a, a some th items are a dollar for a certain color. For me, to me, it just it seems like it's really um, it's more confusing. The fifty percent off on Sunday that was like a big deal, but they've evidently they've stopped that now, and. Uh, they would also tag pull on the day before, the day before and the day after, because they would take if they had yellow on, they would pull the yellow tag off that that's out on the floor. <clears throat> Not so much with clothing, but I would see it and they would have their carts and just pulling and pulling and pulling all the stuff that you should be able to get for fifty percent off. But they take it away and then it goes in the back, and then they relabel it. And actually, I've seen other things from my Cortez over to the 401 or 301 Goodwill and also over in Sarasota as well. So it's like they're shuffling. It's a big shell game is what they've been playing. This is, I'm specifically really talking about Goodwill, not my, my little, the little um, like Manatee Memorial. And then there's some church thrift stores. They're not the same. They're, they're, they're pretty good at how they do because they're, you know, typically it's the little old lady in there, that, you know, and, and they're all sweet ladies. You know, they're volunteers. That is not the same as Goodwill or, or even – actually, Salvation Army is still pretty good because they don't, they don't charge tax and their prices are a lot cheaper. But the only Salvation Army here is over in Sarasota, and it's like 20 minutes away, and it's a hellish ride to get over there because it's really – the traffic around here has been insane, and just there's accidents everywhere. Anyway, where I'm going is I have just been paying close attention to what people have been buying and what haven't been buying. And right now, it seems like the overall people aren't buying mid-century stuff, and they're buying high-ticket items like phones and you know computers and stereos and TVs and such like that. But as far as uh, artwork and you know whatever, knickknacks, not so much. 
this is just a little I'm venting, I guess, because it's just been really slow and it's been really it's been hard it's been harder this year to make money at the thrifting thing than it has years years ago. And I mean, I think back because I I started I started my eBay my first eBay account in 2002, I think it was. So it's over what 22 that's 22 20 however many years that is 20 24 years. 22 years, it was a lot easier back then. Now, today, it's just, it's just very difficult. Anyway, I am hopeful that it starts to pick up a little bit more getting into the holiday season. I hope it does. Uh, so if you're out there thrifting all the time and you're hunting stuff, please, this is my message, please don't just load up your totes and stuff because people really haven't been buying from my perspective. So instead of instead of becoming this is also I'm getting into my hoarder rant. Uh, if you have so many totes, work out of a tote, three or four totes. Please don't buy a storage unit. Don't go big. And if you're gonna whatever you sell, please try and keep it under the size of a bread box. If you have the bread box thing, you can ship ship a bread box type kind of thing and smaller. That that price range just for the shipping, people will actually be more attuned into that than a big item because. Uh, and also, if you're shipping glass or, or breakables, please use your peanuts and your bubble wrap, please. And also, please double box because I, I get stuff because I buy stuff on eBay because I like, you know, like it. And sometimes you can resell it if you, you know, or can put it in the shop. That works as well. But sometimes I get stuff. It comes. It's broken. I, it, these are heartbreaking things. I can't even make videos about them because it's, it would just it just angers me, if you know what I mean. So, guys. If you're out there thrifting and trying to make money on the side, please be very careful. Uh, things for me, I haven't, I have not been seeing things sell very well, and a lot. Of, I have a lot of friends who also are. They have, um, they rent booths out in you know antique stores like like I do, and everybody has just been really, really slow. And if you're in the business, you know you know how slow it is, and you know exactly what I'm saying. But if you're just a novice and you're out there and you, 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 know, you think you're going to go make a whole bunch of money off of whatever thing, please be careful. Please, please, please be careful unless you absolutely know what the thing is you have and you've done deep research on it and you have looked to be sure that that thing is selling at least two or three of those things, not just one in six months. Hold on to your money. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, and just be extra careful. So on that note, I just wanted to say thanks for everyone who's been actually watching me. Uh, if you haven't liked and subscribed, please do. Have a great Sunday, and please be careful out there, guys, with your money and your spending habits because you can get in the hole, and then you can be in that hoarder thing, and it gets very dangerous. Be safe. Bye. Off I go.